As President and CEO of the Atlantic Council, I am delighted to salute the legacy of Prime Minister Rafi Kariri and to salute as well the efforts of his son, Baha Hariri, and his wife, Hasna Hariri, to let that legacy live on, on this 10th anniversary of the Rafi Kariri Center and then long into the future. The Rafi Kariri Center has been around for 10 years and during those 10 years, it's really been at the cutting edge of bringing voices from the region to Washington and bringing advice to policymakers in Washington about how best to approach the region. The Rafi Kariri Center has really been focusing in a unique way on efforts to unlock the human potential of the region, how the region can come together and the people of the region can benefit from economic progress and prosperity. The MENA region for many years has been the place of heartbreak, the place of wars. But for centuries before then, it was a place of progress, it was a place of science, of math, of some of the greatest thinkers of humanity. And we think that the Middle East is on its way to another incredibly promising era. And the Empower Middle East program of the Hurry Center for the Middle East focuses on these possibilities. We focus on the human element because in the end of the day, if the Middle East is going to be transformed, it is going to be only if it is willing to involve all of its populations, including its young people and women. They are ready. They want to play a role. The mission of the Rafiq Curry Center for the Middle East at the Atlantic Council is to create a better region to integrate the region more, the countries among each other, and also integrate them with the world. If your mission is to shape the global future together with friends and allies, a lot of those friends and allies are of course in the Middle East. But the challenges that threaten that global future involve inexorably the Middle East. But most importantly, it's a modern version. It's not a version that splits up the Middle East into feuding camps, but instead of that brings them together for a common cause and a better purpose. That's why the Atlantic Council needed to have a Middle East Center. It's an essential part of the Atlantic Council. Murphy Kariri was many things. He was a political leader, he was a business leader, he was a social leader. But his work as a business executive, as an entrepreneur, is something that has also an incredibly lasting impact, um, both in Lebanon and across the region. Although his life was cut tragically short, his legacy lives on in the Rafi Hariri Center. His son, Baha Hariri, brought me the idea for the center, created the center to honor the legacy of his father, to let it live on into future generations at a time when the Middle East most needs this message. He spoke about convergence, and that was his father's word to bring together the Middle East with Europe, with the United States, in a broader global civilization. I believe in peace, and I believe that uh, we have to do everything to achieve a peace in the region. Our work in the region is quite simple. We ask ourselves for policymakers in the region and policymakers in the United States that are working on the region, what are the most important issues that are in front of them right now? And then we ask ourselves, is there a way that we as a think tank can best inform those decisions, can add to the discussion that's happening right now, can be a platform for bringing people together and having quiet conversations that might be difficult to have between governments. Some years ago, Madeleine Albright and I led a task force on the Middle East. And we went from country to country together, asking the leaders of the country what they foresaw, what they wanted, how they envisioned the future. But we also found on our trips out there that what the late Madeleine Albright would call green shoots of progress in the Middle East. These promising stories of women entrepreneurs. Young people getting involved through civil society or in business. And of course, a region that had not reached its potential, but still could. And one of the great things about the Ruri Center is that part of their work is to address the human dimension and try to help the Middle East take advantage of its human capital, which is the route 
to a more prosperous and stable future. The Rafik Kariri Center will continue to grow over time, undoubtedly. We have a tremendous agenda in front of us in terms of expanding our work on entrepreneurship through our Empower ME initiative, through working to expand our WIN fellowships that we have that bring women entrepreneurs. Our goal for the Rafik Kariri Center is to do what we can to help make sure that that potential is realized.